First reading, Galatians, chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. Christ set us free, so that we should remain free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be fastened again to the yoke of slavery. I, Paul, give you my word that if you accept circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you at all. I give my assurance once again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is under obligation to keep the whole law. Once you seek to be reckoned as upright through the law, then you have separated yourself from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. We are led by the Spirit to wait in the confident hope of saving justice through faith, since in Christ Jesus it is not being circumcised or being uncircumcised that can affect anything, only faith working through love. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 119 verse 41, 43, 44, 45, 47, 48. Let your faithful love come to me, Yahweh, true to your promise, save me, do not deprive me of that faithful word, since my hope lies in your judgments, I shall keep your law without fail forever and ever, I shall live in all freedom because I have sought your precepts, your commandments fill me with delight, I love them dearly, I stretch out my hands to your commandments that I love, and I ponder your judgments. Gospel, Luke chapter 11 verse 37 to 41 he had just finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He went in and sat down at table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, You Pharisees! You clean the outside of cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness, fools! Did not he who made the outside make the inside too? Instead, give alms from what you have and, look, everything will be clean for you.